for the people of God to enter Step out of the nest Spread your wings and soar, surrender Fall to Jesus, fall fully in love Concise knowledge. Amen. We are grateful. Amen. We bless you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. For you are the center of our joy, the center of our focus. Amen. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you for who you are to us and who we are to you. Thank you for the biggest sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Lord, because if you give to us, Jesus, Amen. what else would you give to us? Yes. Houses, Hallelujah. a life, Hallelujah. a husband, a wife. Amen. What else would you give unto us? We are so grateful. Amen. So today we receive all that you have in store for us. Amen. Open heavens of our lives. Amen. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. Thank for the anointing to teach and to preach. Yes. Grace to comprehend. Amen power to do Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nigeria will be redeemed. Jesus. Our nation will be redeemed Amen. from the shackles Amen. and captivity Amen. of wicked men Amen. in the name of Jesus. I give you praise Lord Hallelujah. for Satan can never be ahead of you. Yes. You are always ahead. Yes. And so we thank you for 2023, you are already ahead. Amen. The glorified Father. Many are the devices in the heart of a man, but only your cancer will prevail. Amen. Only your cancer will stand. Amen. Thank you, Father. Be magnified. Amen. Our eyes are on you. Amen. Blessed be your name, Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. Let's celebrate our God, everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Before you take your seat, please greet your neighbor warmly. later that you are happy to see them. Shake their hands. Look for something nice they are wearing. You are, uh, 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 you are, uh, 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 hallelujah. Praise God. Is the first situation improving or what's happening? Is it there, God? God will help us. In Jesus' mighty name. So, uh, a better covenant based upon better promises. Our lesson three continues. Glory be to God. So, let's start from our text in the book of Hebrew, chapter 8. 14 lessons in 14, sorry, 14 lessons in 14 years. 14 lessons from the book of Hebrew. We are on lesson three now. Titled, A Better Covenant Based Upon Better Promises. Hallelujah. If you understand New Testament, you are blessed. I'm telling you. You'll be stable. You'll be very stable as a Christian. If you understand New Testament. Many things you hear, you know, you will talk like my mom. You will say, Jazz, no, jazz will also, you know, that is what kind of <laughs> what kind of jazz, what kind of nonsense are you talking? And I'm not sure she has ever had a jazz music in her life, but whatever she just knew that maybe the way the word sounds, jazz, must be some nonsense kind of uncoordinated thing. So when you are saying some things to her, she will ask, What kind of jazz are you <laughs> are you saying? <laughs> you know. So when some people are talking, eh, when you understand New Testament. It just sounds like jazz in your ear. Now, what is this one talking about? Glory be to God forevermore. Glory be to God forevermore. So, um, so let's just read Hebrews chapter eight, from verses one to eight. Okay, let's start. Okay, uh, now this is the main point of the things we are saying 
Paul has been saying some things before now. I won't do a lot of reviews so we can make progress. Okay. We have such a high priest who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven. A minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord erected and not man. Wow. Thank you, Father. For every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices. Therefore, it is necessary that this one, that's the Jesus, also have something to offer. For if we are on earth, he will not be a priest, since there are priests who offer this the gift, uh, who offer the gift according to the law, who serve the copy and shadow of the heavenly things. As Moses was divinely instructed when he was about to make the tabernacle, for he, God, said to him, See that you make all things according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. But now he has obtained, hallelujah, that is what Moses built was inferior, but now Jesus has obtained a more excellent ministry in as much as he is also what? Mediator of a better what? Covenant which was established on better promises. Hallelujah. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for a second. Because finding fault with them, he says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Somebody say amen to that. We talk about the better covenant based upon better promises. When we say something better, that means it's been compared to something before, right? You cannot have a better car if there was no previous car. You cannot have a better accommodation if you didn't have an accommodation before. Are you hearing me? Uh, you cannot have a better government if there was no government before. And we are trusting God that 2023 we have a better government in Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, you cannot have a better husband. Okay, let's go. No, it could be the same one, but improved version. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, let's leave that alone. You know. Some of you are not convinced. You are still looking at me funny. Okay, let's go. A better husband based upon better money. <laughs> Some of you, the old lady that husband is doing wrong, right? Now, he doesn't have money. That's all. A better husband must be based upon better money. When you have money, you are okay. Don't worry. Just be misbehaving. Just give me money. Money. Where is the money? Show me the money. After you show me the money, you are correct. Don't worry. <laughs> a better husband based upon better, better notes. Okay, let's go on. Hallelujah. I remember the other day when Bros. J bought Benz for the wife. The wife if, 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 under the anointing. If, I was there. If you don't have, I can show you the video. I have the video. She fell down under the anointing. Because we came to dedicate the car and we, were, we finished dedicating the car. She didn't know the word. She was the one. We pray fervently for the person who owns the car. We thank God for the sister that just bought the car. She was just wow, 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 everything. So we finished and I took the document. I said, your husband said, I should give you this. She just fell down. No, no, she didn't fall like this. So she went back one like this and fell down. Power! <laughs> Power of God, fell down, I'm telling you! <laughs> but then go follow you. <laughs> That's the day on the way. I mean, I... <laughs> I don't feel like preaching today. I feel like playing. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the word, okay? In the, in the previous I don't play. But let's, <laughs> let's, <laughs> hey, money fell on her. She fell down. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Power, power, power. Okay. So when we say something better, it's in comparison to something. Glory be to God forever. <laughs> I remember, you know, one guy had a case in court. <laughs> when I saw the way the, co- the, co- the case was going, <laughs> I called him. I said, this is your lawyer. I will send you to jail. <laughs> you need a better lawyer. <laughs> I said, you need a... He said, Look, the way you got, this court is going. Case is going. I'm listening to the argument. This, this guy we sent you, is that he appears in court unprepared. You will go to jail, you Say, but he has started handling it. I say, it doesn't matter. There's something in law that doesn't st- that stop you from changing your lawyer. You go, you need a better lawyer. 
<laughs> prisons <in> which <laughs> if they, because if they rule appeal to overturn judgment is very difficult to <laughs> your prison will be so long <laughs> yeah. but they, they, they say sentence him let's go let's go so anyway where am I playing this morning like this okay let me just stop playing let's go to the Lord hallelujah better covenant so now we said why is it better but we said, but God finding fault with the former one, right? I said, by the grace of God, I will start by telling you the fault with the Old Testament. I, but I'm trying to lay the foundation now. But no matter where we stop today on the foundation, that's where we go stop. Next week, I want to start dealing with that. The faults with the Old Testament. Why God found it necessary to put in place a better covenant. Glory be to God forever. Man. And let me tell you this up front. Better, no, not better. It's not from God. It's not about God. It was out of the love of God that God saw that this thing is not favoring us. God said that, God saw that we are not getting better by this one. Let me give you a better one. It didn't make God better. He made us better. Are you hearing me? It didn't change anything about God. He changed us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So everything is, is in our favor. Say amen to that. Amen. So we said, so what is it? And I began to give, I gave you some examples about why the Old Testament is, why the New Testament is better. And we're on that, trying to lay the foundation. And we said, remember we said that God has not changed, Right? People say God has not changed. God, is, God has not changed. But his, the time of relationship with us has changed. Glory be to God. I was one of the reasons, one of the ways that the New Testament is better. I said because the Spirit is now in us. The Spirit is with us and the Spirit is upon us. In the Old Testament, the Spirit was upon them temporarily for a purpose. When it finishes the assignment, it goes. But with us in the New Testament, the Spirit is in us. He's with us. And it's upon us. And I remember saying that there is no Christian who, 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 who has the ministry of the Spirit, and we all do, who should be a failure. Don't allow things to become complicated because we ask before you ask for his assistance. As things are going, Holy Spirit, help me. What should I do? Holy Spirit, what, where, what, where should I go? Should I make this journey or not? And when you notice that there's no clearance in your spirit, don't do it. Keep asking the Holy Spirit all the time. Even if you have done it before, ask again. If you have done it before and it worked out perfectly, don't assume that this time and I need to work again. Still do what? Ask again. Another time I will be able to show you more about that. See, ask. Don't not take any decision for granted. Glory be to God forever. Always ask. Don't say because you went to this man last time, he gave you a contract. You went back again. Don't go back there. Ask, should I go again or should I not go again? Glory be to God forevermore. Always ask. And then we said, in the New Testament, uh, what, what's another advantage we have, we have there? Sonship. Sonship is, our, is a blessing. We are not servants in the New Testament, we are, we are sons. Glory be to God. And number three, we said what? We have authority. Authority over demons, authority over life, to reign in life. Those ones are the, the advantages of the New Testament. You can there was no record anywhere in the Old Testament that somebody exercised authority over demons. Not one. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. Not one example. Today, I will tell you number three, number four, number five, number six. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll just I'll just talk them shout shout. Hallelujah. Amen. Another advantage. Why, is, why do we say it's better? Also, it's better because in the, in the Old Testament, people survived based on their own righteousness. But in the New Testament, we survive by the righteousness of God. That's why many of you are not dead yet. That's why many of us are not dead. That's why many of our leaders are not dead. Are you hearing me? That's why some of you can still pray. 
and God will answer. Because it's beyond your righteousness. Let this thing sink in you. Let it sink in you. I want your faith in God to be solid. So that you can approach his throne of grace with boldness. Knowing that it's not about you, it's about him. Glory be to God forevermore. I appeal to you. Please, one of the greatest goodness you can do to yourself is to learn to endure teaching. All this gra gra will not solve you, solve your problem. Are you hearing me? You better know what you are doing with your life and how to approach God personally on your own. Glory be to God forevermore. And one of the things that will embolden you in approaching God is to know that you are righteous. The issue of righteousness can never be overstretched. It is, that is one of the advantages in the, in, the, in, the, in the New Testament. You know in the Old Testament, go, go, go to the book of, of, of Ezekiel chapter 14. Let me read something for you in Ezekiel chapter 14. Ezekiel chapter 14. In the Old Testament, let me tell you, <laughs> you better get it right. If you don't get it right, you are in problem. But in the New Testament, Jesus got it right for us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Look, look, look at it. But, you see what I say? Ezekiel chapter 14. Go to verse 12. Let me hurry up. Thank you, Father. Okay. The word of the Lord came to me, uh, or the Lord came again to me, saying, okay, that is to, not me, Ezekiel. <laughs> saying, son of man, when a land sins against me by persistent unfaithfulness, I will stretch out my hand against it. I will cut off with supply of bread. Shall so you see why there's famine in the lot of places? I will cut off with supply of bread. Send famine on it and cut off man and beast from it. I will punish them. And if these three men, look at what God says now. This is awesome. He says, if these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they will deliver only themselves, what? By their what? Righteousness, says the Lord. God said, if I'm punishing a land, he says, if Noah, remember Noah, he was the only one that was saved during the first flood. When God caught, caught off every man, God said he was found faithful, was found righteous. So God used him as an example of righteousness. <laughs> God said, another person, go back, who was there? Daniel. Remember Daniel? Bible said there was no fault finding him. I said when it comes to following God. Perfect man. He said, if we are going to find any fault with this man, we cannot catch anything, no. No bribe, no corruption, no nothing. He said, the only way we can find effort with him is that we will say they should not pray. We should not, nobody should pray to God because we know he will pray. That's the only way we can, we can only catch him by legislating against righteousness because he will be righteous. Hallelujah. Bible says the third one, Job. Bible says Job suffered all affliction, right? Bible says in all this affliction, he never cursed God once. Some of you, all your problem right now is fuel in your car. What a bloody, blood. That's why you will, you will be angry with God. You will be angry with pastor. You will come to church. You will be yoni. I said, I'm minister of petroleum. If you pastors are really praying, why things are not changing? Are you not a Christian? Why are you not praying? Say that things will change. You will be looking at pastors as if we cause your problem. You too pray. You to pray. I told the day I'm Robert came to my house. So everybody lie down. Lie, that's why I made her lie down. Nobody else. <laughs> so one of them wanted to kick me. The other guy said, don't kick him. Why are you don't kick him for? And I said, sir, what, he said, what do you do? I said, I'm a pastor. He said, you see now. <laughs> he, said, you see, he said, you are the reason why we are still here. He said, if you are praying for Nigeria, Nigeria will be better. We won't steal. We won't steal. So they started picking things. Kai, this man get this too. Wow. See his belt. This man get see his shoe. One hour was not go. Say, wow, see this rock sack. He said, this is a rock sack. Carry. No, no, say, see this canvas. Wow. Honestly, they were talking, they were picking like this. I said, ah, this man get this too. Wow. Wow. So they now left. They now came back. This man, the way he get this, he will get gone. He will get gone. You get gone. I said, I don't have God. Pastor. Girl. 
So if I get gone, without telling you, say I get gone. Okay, let's go. On. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, say Job, if you were there, God said, their righteousness will not affect anybody. They will only deliver themselves by their own righteousness. That is what we have in the Old Testament. Too. That's what we have what? In the Old Testament. Your righteousness will only work for you. You cannot, you cannot pull on additional righteousness. There's nothing that is to your advantage apart from what you have to yourself. And if that one is not complete, you are finished. Hallelujah. Go to the book of James now. James, chapter 2. Because you may think that I can cope, I can cope. Well, no problem. If it's about my righteousness, I can cope. Uh, you know, I don't womanize, I don't mind nice. You know, I don't drink, I don't do this. <laughs> For the fact that you look at your neighbor because his, his hair better, his, uh, hair do is better than your hair do. And you say, nonsense. You will go to, for that alone, you will go to hell. It is enough, you will go to hell. Are you for that alone? <laughs> Are you hearing me? That you saw somebody's car that's better than your own car and something in you arises against it. It's a sin. It's a sin. Look at what says, what is that? James chapter 2 verse 10. Let me hurry up. Kai. Time will just be running when we come here. James chapter 2 verse 10. For whoever, do you see that? Whoever shall what? Keep the whole law. Yet stumbles all in one. He is guilty of what? That's the end. That is the danger of this self-righteousness. You fulfill all. All. 99.9%. Then you fail in one. God said that is the end. Hallelujah. God knows that no man can do it. For by the work of the Lord, no flesh shall be justified. He knows. Nobody will be blessed. Nobody will be able to stand before God with boldness. Not one. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 3. Lift up your right hand and say, I thank God for Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah! Verse 10. Verse 10. For as many as have the works of the law, they are what? Under the cause. If you are trying to do the works, you say you are under the cause. Already. For even attempting to go that route. Why? Why did he say that? For it is written, cause is everyone who does not continue what in all things that which are written in the book of the law to do them? If you don't continue what in all, in all things, you cannot fulfill partially. You can do it partially in what in all things. It's not possible. Glory be to God forevermore. And that was what Paul was talking about when he said, "I want to be found in Him, not having my own righteousness." The one that I walk out by myself. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 3, verse 9. Philippians 3, 9. Glory be to God forevermore. That is why I, I see a lot of people, Holy Spirit, help me this morning. You know, this is what they do. They, when, you know, as you tight, keep your tight record. As you keep it. So when you are praying to God, raise up your tight record. I say, God. I've never failed. On the basis. You pay all your tithe. Have you paid what you are owing? <laughs> eh? The last time that you did business, were you 100% honest? The last time you sold something and you were trying to sell this bottle, are you hearing me? For 55,000 naira, you know? And because you were trying to convince the customer that, look, I can't sell less than 55, and you lied that this thing, unit price, before God and before man, is 53,000. My gain on this is 2,000. 
2,000. Meanwhile, you got it for 23. You call it marketing. God needs to kill you. Because all of you think that, you know, it's, it's not one way. It has to be complete. So if you stand before God, any person that's teaching you, just stand before God. I'll be telling him, I'll be waving tight at him. Tight has its own mechanism of working. Independent. Do you get what I'm trying to say right now? This is the idea. If you wake up, Pastor DJ, every day, and you are carrying 10, 10 kilograms, this and 10 kilograms, like this, like this, let me tell you something. Eh? Your eyes will not become sharper. Your muscle here yeah, will become bigger. Absolutely, absolutely. Are you hearing me? Your tummy will not likely go down. All your feet become yes. stronger. Your hand will be, because that's what you are exercising. Yes. If you work on tight, you, your finances become stronger. It doesn't mean every, every other place will come into life. Do you get what we are trying to say right now? So don't be waving it at God. Tight is not a principle of answer prayer. It's not a principle of what? Of answer prayer. In the equation of answer prayer, tight is not one. In the equation of blessing, tight is one. Thank you, Mr. Hallelujah. So what did I say just now? So you waving it, waving it. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go to what it says here. Look at what Paul says here. Let's read together, everybody. And be found in him. Be found, may you be found in him. Amen. Be found in him. No, have you what? My own right. That is what some of you brag, brag about. Your own righteousness. That, do you know, hey, God help me this morning. Do you know that's why a lot of people don't get answer prayers? And you will see this new Christian who, who seems not to be serious. Who seems to be having good life and just everything. Having answer prayers. Because the boys no say, I no good. If God no do them, nobody feel do them. Baba, now your hand I deal. If also they don't even understand Christian languages. Today we talk about, oh, Father, the God of glory, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of heaven and earth, El Roy, Hello, yeah. Hello, Baba. They don't understand it. They just say, Papa, now your hand I did. As I won't go, confuse that man. Confuse him for me. Confuse him. Confuse him for me. So when I go there, make it man just give me what I want straight. As I collect him, I go give you praise. Thank you, Father. They don't go. And it will happen for them. Meanwhile, here you are. Oh, Lord. King of glory. The exalted one. I, and you started again. And you are wondering why this book get why is it that those of us, some of some of us who have been in faith, we find it very difficult to receive healing. Because we are still trying to merit it. When you see this new believer, they just come to Christ, Father, now here I did this leg, they pay me. Before you know it, the thing don't disappear. Why? No, why? Why is it happening like that? And some of us don't get results. Are you hearing me? Why? Because their faith is expressed in simplest simplicity. They are not counting on their own righteousness. They just depend on God. And they just go approach him and they get answers. Be funny. Not having what? My own righteousness. Which is from what? The law. But that which is through what? Faith in Christ. The righteousness which is from God by what? Where is the righteousness from? From God. Will God give you something that is inferior? No. Will God give you something that is not complete? No. The righteousness from God is what? Complete and total. Say amen to that. Amen. Romans chapter 10. This is the blessing of the New Testament. Being found in him. Not having my own righteousness. Because when you want to pray, ask God for big things. Satan will come and show you what you have not done. You didn't fast. You didn't do this. No, no. We are not coming on the basis of our righteousness. We are the coming on the basis of righteousness. Be found in him, not having my own righteousness. Yes. Which is from the law? By keeping the law. No. We, we, I want to have righteousness which comes by faith through, through Jesus Christ. That's what I want to have. Glory be to God for it. Romans chapter 10, verse 4. Romans 10, 4. Say amen to that. Amen. Wow. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you one question. If I need favor, no, no, you know me. Don't, don't, don't let me say any favor from you. Let's say. I need me favor from Minister of State for Petroleum so that my chest can look like Solomon's chest. 
crude oil. Just, you know. And I take my card and I design it well. Are you hearing me? I write, I won't add to it. Tunde Ayemi. B.A. M.A. Ph.D. How did he? You know, and I ask, are you, and I pumped it up. Coach, mentor, life coach, husband, father, senior pastor, father, Geo, and I put it together very well, everything. And now, they now say, now take it to the Minister of Petroleum. He keeps looking. Who is this? Who is this? This is impressive, but who is this? This is impressive, but who is this? Look at how much work you put into it. And here the man keeps asking, who is this? But let's say God gives you favor. You know Malami. Or you know the president himself. Or the vice president. You know God gives you favor. And gives you a card. And he asks you to be driven there by his PA. And he say, please, it's from Oga. This is the card. He will never ask who is this. At that moment, your person, hey, at that person, your personality is not in question. What you are wearing is doesn't come into equation. Who you are doesn't mean anything again. It now becomes the question of the card in his hand. All of a sudden, you take the image of the person you represent. All of the strategies begin to work for you on the basis of what that brought you. Is that not what happens to us when you try to go before God on the basis of what you do? Why don't you present the card of Jesus? Hallelujah. Heaven can never deny knowing Jesus. Romans chapter 10. You won't believe it. I have six minutes left. Six minutes left. Hey. Hallelujah. Let's go together. I want to go. For Christ is the end of the law. For righteousness to everyone. Who does what? He didn't say Christ has cancelled the law. Is the end of the law. What is he talking about at the end? It's not a termination. What it says is Christ is the answer to the law. And because he has answered the law, he has given us the answer. Meaning, Christ is the end of the law for righteousness. The law is trying to grow righteousness, Abby. We cannot do it. You know what? I will do it. That's why he came and Bible said no sin was found in him. And having obtained that righteousness, he gave it to us. It's as you write registering for additional mass in class. And you no hope of passing. Somebody take the answer, the script, answer says for you. Guess A and gives you the A. Christ is the end of that additional mass for pass to you who believe. Hallelujah. Do you get what I'm trying to say right now? So we are not saying because we are righteous in Christ, go and do whatever you want to do. Are you hearing me? He is saying that what the Lord requires, God has done it through Christ. I gave it to you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. Let me show you because the way some of you are looking at me is not nice. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. We need to do, do, do this thing. Hallelujah. There is therefore what? what? Now no connect to those who are, who are aware in Christ Jesus. That means for us, no condemnation. Hallelujah. Who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Next line. Next line. Verse 2. Verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Verse 3, for what the law could not do in that it was weak work through the flesh, God did. Say God did. God did. What we were trying to do, we couldn't do it. We couldn't pass the mass. We are not too intelligent. We couldn't pass it. What we could not do, God did. So, the requirement of the law was not swept under the carpet. Was not covered. I said, God said, it not, doesn't matter anymore. God did. What we could not do because we are weak in the flesh, God did. The money you could not pay because you are broke, your brother paid. Are you hearing me? That is what he's saying. The landlord cannot harass you anymore because somebody has paid. What we could not do because we are weak, God did. 
How did he do it? By sending his own son in the likeness of the sinful flesh on the account of sin. He condemned what? Sin in the flesh. Verse 4. That the righteous requirement of the Lord might be fulfilled what? In us. Who do not work according to the flesh but according to the spirit. Say amen to that. He said the righteous requirement of the Lord has become fulfilled in us because somebody fulfilled it for us. Say amen to that. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 2 as I round up. Okay, so this foundation is long. Three weeks. Guys, look, have confidence in God though, until the point of understanding. <laughs> it's deep. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. I'm telling you guys, let it be in you. Let this thing's foundation be in you. This one that you are running away from Satan, running away from demons, you wake up in the night, something's happening to you, you say, ah, it's what I did that caused it. What did you do? No, what did you do? Are there no people who are washing their hand with human sacrifice every day? And they are still around. What did you do? No, tell me, what did you do? Shake it off! And face Satan. And his righteousness. He paid the price for me. What I could not do, he did. It does not matter. Let this thing do, let it be solid in you. I told you one day when I was in this IBA, I told you that story before. One young lady, you know, we were, you know, that day I got favor with God. I was upgraded to, to business class. And I was there. One lady was there, one small girl. Maybe, girl, maybe it's a teenager or early 20s, I don't know. Was something uh, funny like that, and she was sitting there. From the beginning, she was gone. Uh, whoa, whoa, pow. Pow. It will make the child, she got me swallowed like, whoa, pow. Ministers were still there. You know, send them. The question who brought her there? We don't know. But somebody paid. On the basis of the person that paid, nobody can go and tell her, say, leave, leave the place. We, we, we can't, it, she was qualified to be there. Mind your own business and face front. Are you hearing me? In the spirit realm, Satan may not be comfortable with us. Mind his business face front. You know why? If we have been paid for. Righteousness has been paid for. Are you hearing me? If this thing dwell in you, Satan will not hide under anything to punish you. Glory be to God forevermore. Colossians chapter 2. Let's round up. Are you happy you came to church this morning? That is why this one is better. In the, New Test- in the Old Testament, you will do a... Look at all that uh, this guy did. David did. Look at all that David did for God. All the right to everything. One mistake. One. He can't tell people. Just say, God said don't count. They are my people. When you are counting them, you are trying to own them. He can't tell the people. God said you can't tell them. You will see what will happen. Bible says sword came. Bible says in one day, 7,000 people died. One day. The man now came and said, Look, God, she been amazing. Kill me. Why are you killing the people? A man like that. One mistake. People they disobey. Nobody, nobody one time, Jonah disobey. <laughs> he was swallowed. This day, we don't disobey, we keep moving. And that we disobey, we keep moving again. Try it then. Thou shalt see pepper and alibosa. <laughs> and at the end, they will now put garlic in your mouth. Are you hearing me? Say, lift up your right hand and say, We thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Being found in Him, not having my own righteousness. That is something to call, call my own righteousness. Father, we give you praise. Don't be scared about your children. Even when they are misbehaving, his righteousness will take care of them. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. Colossians chapter 2, verse 9, as we round up this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in him or in Christ, Dwells what? The, all the fullness of the Godhead, what? Bodily. And you 
are complete what? In him. Who is the head of all principality? Lift up your right hand. Say, I am complete. I am complete. In, him. in him. You may not like me. But I am complete in him. You know, if you allow this mentality to dwell in you, accepting people will not be difficult for you. That's why you always look at people. He doesn't dress properly. He doesn't do this. His hairstyle is wrong. To you, the hairstyle is wrong. He is complete in him. Do you get what I try to say right now? To you. I don't know how to say maybe it's wig or her trouser is too tight. It shows all the cough. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. To you, she's not a good lady, but she is complete in him. Do you get what I'm saying right now? So you wonder why they are getting results and you are not. You are judgmental. You are counting on your own righteousness. They are counting on his righteousness. And they are complete in him. Why are they complete in him? Because they are not, they are not showing by themselves. They are showing up in Christ. Let me show you, let me demonstrate that as we close. I'm reserving my time by two minutes. Look at this. Hey, and this see my post. This is Jagi Jaga post. You see, yes? I am a person like that. I don't easily throw anything away. I will use it on the team. We go and report me to God. That, please, this is too much. I've had this post, this post for over 15 years. Yeah. 15 years. I have other posts, but I just have affinity for this one. See, it don't dilapidate, it don't pieces. But I like it. It's my post. <laughs> I, I'm going to see this post torn very unsightly. Sometimes when we go to meetings uh, like that and I give my post and my phone to uh, PA, you know, you'll be doing the post like that. I say, leave my post. It's my post. It doesn't go with the dress. It is my post. So this post is not complete. It's not a good post. But if I put this post inside this inner pocket and I give you this this beautiful jacket the pause may not be complete but the pause is complete in it are you hearing me right now the ugliness of the pause is hidden because it's hidden inside a beautiful jacket your life may not be complete to other men but it is hidden in Christ we are complete in him Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Do you get what we are trying to say right now? We are complete world in him. So we are not going and say, we are complete, we are complete. No, we must put that in him there. That's where our complete come from, comes from. Do you understand what we are saying right now? Under the Old Testament, it's according to their own strength. But here is his righteousness. Is far better than whatever you can talk about. Father, we give you praise this morning. We honor your holy name. Thank you because in you, in you, we are complete. We have a better covenant based upon better promises. Righteousness which comes by faith, not self-righteousness which comes by the law. We give you praise. We honor your holy name. Thank you, Father. We go forth from your presence today with boldness joy and with miracles. Thank you for blessing us and causing things to happen in our lives. This week we have eyes that see, ears that hear. We see opportunities. We see open doors in the name of Jesus. And we also plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our lives. No accident. No evil, Amen. no disaster. Jesus. The lights are falling to us in pleasant places. Amen. We have a goodly heritage. Amen. We enjoy the favor of God at another level. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you all the praise. Lord, you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen.
Concise knowledge.